the birthing mother should really have the freedom to take care of their newborn, the new baby, and to heal themselves. Wouldn't you agree? A woman goes through so many different changes when they are pregnant to grow a baby. Not only are they sacrificing their body and their nutrients to support and grow this new baby, and then after that, having to go through and experience labor, there are some things that the birthing mother should not be doing and what they should be focusing on instead. And this is the time where we call the fourth trimester, also known as the postpartum period. I really don't think this topic is discussed enough, especially in America, when it comes to bringing a new baby home. When planning for a new baby, there's so much focus on what materials you need, what you should buy, your birthing plan, how to prepare for labor delivery, and then we always overlook the postpartum or the fourth trimester period. Once a new baby has arrived, they are just so super cute and so many people start approaching that they want to come see the new baby. And I totally get they're super cute. It's like such a short amount of time and a special moment when they're this little. But let's be clear, the birthing mother does not need to entertain guests. They don't need someone to hold the baby. They can take a shower, take a nap while the baby is nappy. A new mother really doesn't need someone to hold the baby so they can clean the house or do errands, run chores, any of that, or even take care of their older kids. So let's say you really wanna see the new baby, but you don't wanna be that type of visitor. So here are some things that you can do to be supportive for the new mother and help with the care of the new baby. I think the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to visiting new mom is bringing food, but you wanna focus on the foods that you're bringing to be nourishing, healthy foods that is gonna support the healing of the new mom. So you wanna focus on having a lot of fruits, vegetables, lots of fluids, um, soups, are all great to bring to the mom. And then you can bring foods that are not cooked or cook them in their kitchen if they're comfortable with. Definitely ask what the mother's preference is. Now, instead of just bringing food, you'll also wanna make it so much easier for the new mom. So let's do some chores. Grab a broom, start sweeping, vacuuming, mop the floors, clean the toilets, clean the kitchen, clean the sink, wash dishes, put away all the dishes, do the laundry, put away the laundry, that's folding, hanging, and putting away the laundry. That's the longest step. Okay, if you have a washing machine, everything else is pretty self-explanatory and easy to accomplish. Another great thing to do is to run errands. See what they really need. Do they need groceries? Do they need pads? Do they need diapers? Are they missing anything? Do they need medicines, creams? Is it something that they're missing at home that they didn't realize during postpartum care that they truly need? Go and grab those for them. If this is not their first baby, then there's also the older kids to tend to. So you'll want to take away those older kids, play with them, entertain them, get them, you know, give mommy a break from having them around as well. Going through labor is usually described as running a marathon, or some people say it felt like they got hit by a bus. Um, essentially, their body is simply really sore. And I'm talking about legs are sore, arms are sore, back is sore, stomach, abdominal cramping is happening. There's just like your whole body is sore and you don't really know what's going on. Every part of your body is sore. And so the last thing that I would suggest is a massage. Now, either calling a massage therapist to come to the house and do a treatment at the home or allowing the mother to go to get a massage. However, leaving the house and actually going and driving themselves to get a massage is not usually as attainable. So if you're comfortable as a visitor, I would highly suggest offering to give the mom a massage either on her legs, arms. Massage is highly necessary. As a visitor visiting a new mom, your role is to allow the mother to rest and heal herself. So do everything that it was the mom's job before having the baby. Those, all the chores that I mentioned, most mothers are handling all of that on top of having a newborn. Don't let them do that. A birthing mother should really focus on sleep, eating, drinking lots of fluids, electrolytes, soups, um, juices, especially for anybody who's planning to breastfeed because your body needs all that nourishing foods fluids and everything to create breast milk for the new baby. And that is another toll physically on the birthing mother's body. And don't forget, you want the mother to limit walking, lifting, lifting nothing heavier than their new baby. And in the end, what the birthing mother should really be focused on is 
feeding and caring for their newborn and resting herself because mothers are known for prioritizing their family, their children instead of themselves. I know I do that. I make sure my kids are well taken care of before I focus on myself and my care for my own self is usually placed in the back burner. I'm bringing this up because this is especially true in the American culture. Here in America, there is no federally mandated maternity leave. That means that it is not by law to require the birthing mom or any parent leave to take care of a newborn. Women are expected to just simply bounce back after giving birth to a baby one or two weeks, sometimes even expected to go back to work just two weeks after giving birth, either vaginally, maybe even C-section. There is no federally mandated maternity leave in the United States, so women are having to use their paid time off. That is their vacation time, sick time, float holidays, um, whatever they have, to get time off so they can give birth, heal themselves, take care of the newborn, and then get back to work. And if you don't have the financial means of taking more time off of work, then a lot of women are just forced to go back to work early. And then the newborn, they would have to find a caregiver to take care of their baby or even put them in daycare. And yes, there are daycares in America that will take newborns and infants. This does not allow the new mother the freedom to take care of not just their own baby, but time for them to heal themselves. Sorry, my baby just woke up, but thank you so much for listening to my rant. And now you can watch this video next on what a childbirth can look like when it's a home birth, unmedicated and unassisted. See you then.